This is what we're making today, onigiri. This is three cups of rice. We're gonna begin by washing it. When making onigiri, this is probably the most important step. It's very important to wash this rice until the water runs clear. If the rice is not washed well, it will become too starchy. This will lead to large clumps of rice and you won't be able to tell each grain apart. I washed this rice 7 times and once it ran clear, I let it soak for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I drained the water. Now it's time to start cooking the rice. In this 3 cups of rice, we're gonna pour in our cold water. Some people measure out their water in cups, some people weigh it out. The way I do it is I use the knuckle technique. I put the tip of my finger on top of the rice and I pour water until this first indentation. Once it reaches that, it's ready to cook. We're going to place an umeboshi with the rice while we cook it to give it a little bit of flavor. While our rice cooks, we're going to make our filling. In this bowl is a small can of tuna. We're going to mix it with some Japanese mayo, sriracha, and green onions, and then mix. Today, we're going to be making a savory onigiri. Once our rice is done, we're going to place it on top of parchment paper and spread it out to let it cool fast. This will take about 20 minutes to cool. While our rice is cooking, we're going to mix 1 tablespoon of salt to 1 cup of water. We're going to use this mixture to damp our hands to prevent the rice from sticking and the salt will also help us season the rice. Now let's make our onigiri. We're going to damp our hands and give it a little clap. The clap will help evenly distribute the water throughout your hand. You will see a lot of sushi chefs do this technique. We're then going to evenly distribute the rice on our palm and then place our filling right on top of the rice. Once our filling is in, we're going to press it in and then put more rice on top of it. What we're initially making here is a rice ball. A very important note here is not to press too hard when pressing the rice down. You want to be able to see each grain apart. We're simply using our hands to shape the rice ball. And once we've accomplished a spherical shape, we're now going to form it into a triangle. We're simply going to use our hands to shape it into a triangle. It's quite easy with damp hands. And once we formed it into our desired shape, we're going to place it on top of nori and then fold the nori in. Just like a regular sushi roll, the nori should easily stick to the rice. Now let's play. So simple and easy to do. The hardest part was making the rice. Now let's give it a taste. As you guys remember, I didn't season this rice with anything except with my hands and the salt water. And honestly, you could really taste the rice being seasoned well. And as for the filling, I mean it's really good. It's canned tuna with a spicy mayo. Simple, easy, and delicious. And this is my take on Genshin Impact's Onigiri. Thank you.